Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, installment of Garden Basics. Today I want to talk to you about the Japanese beetle, which uh, as you can see is right here. Uh, these little bastards have been uh, inflicting some serious damage on uh, my roses. I've got about 15 to 20 rose plants. Uh, this is just a miniature variety that I have and it's just in a pot sitting on my porch. Um, I've got, you know, fully established ones down in the ground there and uh, they seem to like those too, but uh, this is an invasive species to North America, which came from, as the name suggests, Japan. Uh, there's really no natural predators here, and they just absolutely love to prey on your roses. So I just wanted to show you how to get rid of them. So it's better to do this in the morning when it's still cool out. Um, I have a jar of soapy water. Sorry, it's out of focus there. But basically what you have to do is you just got to kind of go in there. Don't be afraid. You grab them. You put them in the soapy water, and uh, the reason it's got to be soapy is so that it um, coats their wings with a film. I dropped one of the bastards, so I'm going to go pick them up. Sorry about that, I had to go pick the little guy up, so I'll try and get him somewhat into focus here if I absolutely can. So they've just got this sort of greenish, uh, shiny shell, a little bit of red in there as well. They're really easily identifiable. Um, they don't really seem to bite or anything like that, so don't be afraid to pick them up. Um, like I said, it's best to do it in the morning when it's cool. Uh, they're a little bit more sluggish then. They do fly, so you gotta be kinda quick with them. And uh, again, what you wanna do, soapy water just drop them right in it like that and you're basically just gonna drown them like that that's really the best way to get rid of the adults um, it's August right now in June sorry not June July and August is when um, they tend to breed and what they do is they lay their eggs in the grass which become grubs now you can buy something called milky spore which you put um, on the grass and that'll slowly help kind of kill the grubs which will reduce um, how many adults are in the area I would highly recommend not getting a Japanese beetle trap as that's just going to attract a lot more Japanese beetles to your yard and that's really not what you want but I kind of wanted to show you kind of what they do you can see these leaves they've just been eating at them holes everywhere it's just amazing they will go through a plant like nothing um, now this particular rose isn't uh, flowering at the moment. It's got a couple buds, but uh, I'll grab another one and I'll show you what they do. So this is another rose that I have, and um, you can see the vast difference. This is a great example that I have actually. Um, this one here, they've just absolutely destroyed it they have sucked out all the juice from it they've eaten the petals and it just looks absolutely horrible while this one here only recently um, bloomed the other day so it still looks great and that's sort of the comparison of you know what japanese beetles can do to a flower uh, especially roses they seem to love them uh, so they're an invasive pest like i said there's not a whole lot you can do you just have to be diligent it's a lot of dirty work, um, but if you're consistent with it, you can hopefully keep them at bay and keep your roses and other plants looking healthy and beautiful. Just wanted to share this helpful advice. Thank you for watching Garden Basics.